the Tesla Model 2 has been making waves throughout the first half of the year 2025. It has been spotted again and again at various production lines and testing facilities. While people initially believed the Model 2 would be a hatchback, everything changed when leaked photos and an important confirmation from Lars Morvey, Tesla's vice president of vehicle engineering, revealed the truth. The Model 2 is not a hatchback. It's a compact crossover, and it is positioned to become Tesla's most important vehicle yet. But now, a tough reality is coming into focus. One that many fans and potential buyers might not want to hear. Depending on whether you qualify for the Federal Electric Vehicle Tax Credit, you could be able to buy the Model 2 for a jaw-dropping price, just a little more than $12,300. But if you do not qualify for those incentives, the same car could cost you as much as $50,000. Yes, you heard that right, $50,000 for the base version of Tesla's next-generation vehicle. So what's the real story? Why is there such a massive gap in pricing? And what secret strategies are hiding behind Tesla's production methods that make both extremes possible? Let's uncover the truth behind how Tesla has managed to drive down the cost of its electric vehicles like never before. This isn't just about a cheaper car. It's about the future of mobility, and how Tesla is trying to place a revolutionary EV within reach of everyday people. Tesla has spent years working to lower the cost of electric vehicle production, and the Model 2 is the company's boldest step forward yet. The attention-grabbing price point of around $12,300 is only possible through a combination of federal tax incentives, breakthroughs in battery technology, and Tesla's groundbreaking approach to production. Let's start with the batteries. Tesla has moved away from the older, more expensive lithium-ion batteries that use rare metals like cobalt and nickel. Instead, the company has focused on two alternatives, lithium iron phosphate, known as LFP and sodium ion battery chemistry. Both options are significantly cheaper to produce, more environmentally friendly and easier to scale globally. The initial Model 2 design features a 50 kWh lithium iron phosphate battery, offering a real-world driving range of more than 310 miles. Even better, it can recharge from 10% to 80% in just about 20 minutes when using Tesla's version 3 superchargers. But here's where it gets really exciting. Tesla is actively working to switch over to sodium ion batteries for the Model 2. Sodium ion batteries don't require cobalt, nickel, or even lithium. They use far more common materials like soda ash and seawater. That means Tesla could dramatically lower the cost of battery production down to as little as $40 per kilowatt hour compared to today's average of nearly $60. For a battery pack that holds 53 kilowatt hours, that's a savings of over $900. That money could be used to add new features, improve range, or lower the base price of the vehicle. When Tesla's production lines are already optimized across factories in Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai, switching over to sodium ion batteries can happen very quickly. The same equipment and layout can be used, meaning Tesla can scale the new battery packs rapidly without pausing production or making expensive changes. There are performance gains too. Sodium ion batteries have higher energy density, allowing the Model 2 to push its real-world driving range up to 350 miles. And in cold weather? They maintain up to 95% of their power, even at negative 30 degrees Celsius, far better than current LFP batteries. Not only are sodium ion batteries more resilient, they also charge faster. That 20-minute charging time could drop to only 10 minutes, making long road trips more convenient than ever. And Tesla's in-house software constantly manages battery health, charging speeds, and thermal control through live updates, ensuring each vehicle always performs at its best. But here's where the real breakthrough lies. Sodium ion batteries can handle more than 6,000 full charge cycles before degrading below 80% capacity. That's roughly twice as long as traditional lithium-ion packs and ensures that your Model 2 will last much longer. Likely longer than you'll even own it. Tesla's manufacturing edge is just as critical as its battery strategy. The company's unboxed production strategy and giant casting machines, known as gigapresses, allow it to build cars using fewer parts and far less labor. By using aluminum alloy and casting entire parts of the car in one go, Tesla cuts the parts count down from hundreds to fewer than 100. That means fewer welds, fewer seams, and faster assembly times. This is a monumental change from how legacy automakers build cars. Companies like Ford still rivet their vehicle panels one at a time. But Tesla's massive casting machines can stamp out five entire vehicle frames in the time it takes a traditional car maker to finish one. It's not just faster, it's cheaper and more precise with machine learning and x-ray scanning inspecting every piece in real time. 
Tesla also redesigned the Model 2 to reduce unnecessary features that drive up costs. There are fewer buttons, a simplified interior, and a new 48-volt electrical system that replaces the outdated 12-volt architecture used in most vehicles. These changes cut down on wiring, reduce weight, and improve efficiency. Tesla's strategy works best in the United States, where local production at factories like Giga Texas and Giga Nevada means no import tariffs and full access to the $7,500 federal tax credit. When combined with additional state incentives, ranging from $2,000 to $5,000 in places like Colorado, California, and New Jersey, the starting price of the Model 2 can drop below $13,000 for qualifying buyers. However, not everyone qualifies. The Internal Revenue Service applies strict income limits for the federal credit, and the vehicle must meet sourcing rules for battery materials. If those standards are not met or if your income is too high, the Model 2 could cost closer to $50,000, especially if you opt for a premium configuration. So yes, the advertised price of around $12,300 is real, but only for some. And for Tesla, that's part of a larger plan. The company wants to open the door to mass adoption by bringing millions of lower- and middle-income buyers into the EV market. Let's put that price into perspective. $12,000 is cheaper than almost every car on the market today, even lower than a Nissan Versa or a base model Chevrolet Bolt. And when you consider that the average American spends nearly $15,000 on gasoline over five years, the Model 2 becomes an absolute bargain. But what do you actually get for that money? The Model 2 is more than just cheap. It's packed with technology. It comes with Tesla's latest operating system, access to the world's largest fast charging network, and over the air software updates that add new features without you ever visiting a dealership. Tesla's minimalist design may leave out luxuries like leather seats or glass roofs, but the vehicle's core tech is anything but basic. Tesla's vertical integration is another reason the company can afford to sell the Model 2 at such a low price. From battery production to software development to delivery logistics, Tesla controls nearly every step of the process. That means no middlemen, fewer markups, and much tighter cost control. The goal is clear. Compress the price, scale production quickly, and dominate the entry-level EV market before other automakers can catch up. Even resale value may surprise people. Traditionally, cheaper cars lose value quickly. But with a robust battery, reliable software, and frequent updates, the Model 2 could age more like a smartphone than a used car. That makes it a strong investment, not just an affordable one. Now, what will the Model 2 actually look like? Tesla has kept its design under wraps, but clues are emerging. Based on images from the 2023 shareholder meeting, it appears to have a profile somewhere between the Model 3 sedan and the Model Y crossover. Many believe it's a smaller SUV with compact styling and a minimalistic design. Some rumors suggest it might look like a smaller version of the Cybertruck, while others think it will resemble a hatchback perfect for city driving. Either way, Tesla seems focused on making it practical, scalable, and affordable. Elon Musk has hinted that it will become Tesla's most produced vehicle ever, likely surpassing even the wildly popular Model Y. And there's even more in the pipeline. Tesla's autonomous cybercab, a fully self-driving robo-taxi, could launch at a price point of around $30,000, thanks to the same vision-based software system that powers the rest of Tesla's lineup. While competitors need expensive radar and LiDAR systems to operate, Tesla relies on AI and machine learning to understand roads in real time, cutting down on hardware costs while pushing software forward. All of these pieces fit together. Tesla's production strategy, battery breakthroughs, software advantage, and global factory footprint combine to offer a revolutionary EV at a price that once seemed impossible. Tesla is proving that electric vehicles don't have to be expensive, exclusive, or complicated. The Model 2 isn't just another car, it's a bold step toward accessible, sustainable mobility for everyone. Whether you're a college student, a retired veteran, or a working parent, this car could be your entry point into the electric revolution. So now, the big question. Would you be willing to pay $12,000 for a compact Tesla Model 2 powered by new sodium ion batteries? Or would you still go with a gas car or a legacy EV? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're excited about the future of affordable electric vehicles, don't forget to like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to Torque Element for more insights into the electric transformation reshaping our world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, where we reveal what Tesla's full scale production of sodium ion batteries means for American energy independence and global EV dominance.